What's up guys, Precision Detail back. Today I'm gonna to give you guys, as promised, the update for F11 top coat. So stepping into this clean car that's mine, you're gonna step over here and you're gonna see F11 top coat. This is what it looks like. As I always state in my videos, I am not sponsored by top coat nor any other companies. Um, I use a lot of different detail products for my detailing business. All right, so as you guys could see, it looks pretty clean under here. I have not washed the car in about, I wanna say three weeks, give or take. Um, the only thing I did after a bad, bad rainstorm was as directed by F11 Top Coat on their website. You're gonna take your power washer and you're gonna go ahead and you're gonna, you know, spray off all the dirt. So the hood is super smooth. That's one thing I really like about f11 top coat it keeps everything as smooth as glass so it kind of saves me the clay bar um, my honda i used to clay bar quite a bit um you know two or three rainstorms and it had to be clay barred this stays super smooth you guys don't hear anything it's it's super super smooth compared to other videos that i make so if we look down here everything stayed very clean We've got a couple of spots right here that I'm gonna address with the top coat. And then I wanna address this right here. I wanna come around to this side. I'll address, this stayed pretty clean. We're gonna go ahead and address this down here. We're gonna address this over here with it. And a little bit more on the back bumper that I just saw. So if you guys look right here, you'll see what I just made with my finger, that line of dirt. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe this down. As you guys know by the many, many videos on YouTube and all the sponsoring on Facebook and everything else, if the dirt is too much, you definitely don't want to go ahead and wipe it down. If it's just minimal dirt, and me, it's my personal car, I keep it clean, but I know it's just a bumper at the bottom, so I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down because the dirt really isn't that bad at all. Got a little spot here, take it off of my fingernail. Let's give it a wipe down, and the spot's gone. So as you guys can see, I'm gonna wipe down here. Let's get that super clean. Smooth as glass, and the dirt is gone. So as I stated in my last video, this stuff is very good if you aren't washing your car as much. If you're gonna wash your car all the time, it specifically states on the directions that soap is going to break this down. And it also depends on your condition too. If your car is outside all the time, then of course it's gonna undergo more stress than a car like this that's inside all the time. So keep that in mind too. This car is regularly garaged. Now, let's go over to the last spot. Right here. I'm gonna just kind of spray this down. Just like that. And it comes off super easy. Whole point is, is that you have a coating on the car. And you have a coating so that you can kind of wipe away light dirt. You don't have to go ahead and wash the car just because it's a little dusty, especially if it's a little dusty. You come here, you spray on another coat, and the car is clean. That's the best thing about it. The car is clean, it saves you time, saves you energy, saves you money, not running it through the car wash. Now, let's address this back bumper too. Dirt, dirt. So we're gonna go one, two, three. And it also states in their directions that the more coats you put on, the better results you're gonna have and the better the car is gonna look. I have people that feel this Jeep in particular and they say that it always feels smooth as could be as if it was just clay barred. Now, as I stated in my first video, before I put this on, I did clay bar the car I did compound the car and I made sure that it was free of any scratches or anything because I wanted this coat to sit tight 
and really help out. So as you guys can see, everything is real, real clean. Um, I've heard of guys using this that haven't washed their car in upwards of six months. Now I'm gonna show you guys. Only problem you're gonna get with not washing the car that long, and it definitely has to be addressed, is your windshield, I'm sorry, your windows, well, windows in general, are gonna get super dirty. So this stuff is good for the windows too. This rag is pretty wet with it. So I'm gonna go ahead, wipe left, right, lift up the wiper, left, right, up, down. All right, and then figure after, say you did a coat once a week. After a month, you have four coats on the car. Just keep up with your windshields, keep everything looking new, and you can see my reflection. You can see the blue sky behind me today. Nice and smooth. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe, and also definitely check out um, the video that I just put up on how to winterize your windshield, your back windshield, and all your windows. Definitely gonna help in the winter, depending on where you guys live. All right, so if you guys wanna see the side of the car, show you so super clean next I got to do the rims um, one thing you're going to have to do is keep an eye on the fender wells right here because if you see some dirt I usually have a fender brush that I get in there with so that's actually better when you do power wash the car go ahead and power wash the inside of the fenders make sure that all the leaves and everything that spits up is out of there uh, you may have tire shine that spits up a whole bunch of stuff can spit up all right, so just make sure that that's clear. That's one thing that you're going to have to do with this. So maybe you won't have to wash the car for six months, but you're going to have to keep up with the tire shine, the rims. I have a coat on my rims, water beads off. They look pretty clean. I'm gonna wipe them down in a couple minutes. I have a dedicated mitt to wipe them down and uh, throw a little bit of wax on them too. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.